As predicted, the last part of April brought the rains and chilly temperatures. Brant's agronomist Ed Corrigan is back out in the fields assessing the stress it left behind on the corn and beans that are part of the trial planted out at the research farm in mid-March. And now we're seeing the crop has really yellowed and it's due to that lack of sunshine and these cold temperatures. We're seeing some uh, veining and that is an iron chlorosis we call it. Iron chlorosis is really terminology for that we have some micronutrients that are missing and the plants are really struggling to uh, uh, utilize the micronutrients correctly. After so much rain in a span of just a few days, Corrigan says you've got to get back out as quickly as possible and help those little plants through these stressful times. Even though it's cold and damp, if we can put our pre-emergent products on, then we can um, uh, allow the next rainstorm to take that into the soil and get them activated, and that'll be very important. And as we do that, we'll want to think about adding some micronutrients in. This is the time period when those corn plants today don't have a lot of, of color to them, but as they begin to uh, get warmer conditions, they're really going to uh, fall back. The next limiting factor is going to be nutrition. This will be an opportune time to come in and put some micronutrients on, zinc, manganese, sulfur, to kind of solve some of this. One of the newest micronutrients, boron, is also one that we're really recommending, especially in our high yield plots. Um, that'll be our next uh, opportunity to really um, bring our high yield plots along is to apply some boron at this stage and um, that'll bring these out as well as we really just need some good sunshine. For more information check out brant.co.